Hi, this is Julie Larson with cloudbloomers.com and in this video we're going to go over commenting on blog posts. Now, why would you even want to comment on a blog post? The the point here is to possibly get some to get some good backlinks to your blog site or your website and you know, to do it the smart way. And what I mean by the smart way is you you don't ever want to be spamming people and you you want to have something uh, semi-intelligent to say on their blog post. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you what I mean here. Okay, when I decided I wanted to make this video, I, would, I was going to um, give you an example of finding a blog and that you, you might want to post on. So first of all, you want to post on something that is relevant to your website or to your, your topics. And you also, you don't want to just post on any website. You want to preferably post on a website that is reputable. All right, and I have, um, I use Avast on my computer. And if you'll see these little, um, these little bars here, that's the vast web rating so it tells you that this site has a good rating and so anyway that's why I use we'll be using probably Google Places very soon you'll see the Google Places there and um, you know that'll help with the rating of the site so you want to you know choose a reputable site or blog to make a comment on if you're gonna comment so what was interesting was as I was searching for commenting on blogs, I came across this one here, and it's why you should never comment on blogs. So that really grabbed my attention. Plus, I noticed that it was current. It was just posted um, July 27th, and today is August 5th, 2011. And then that site also had a good ranking as far as um, Avast was concerned. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I already pre-read this article and um, his points about why you don't want to be uh, <laughs> why you don't want to be commenting on blogs and here I am doing a little tutorial about it so anyway and you'll notice that there's a lot of comments on this blog but the neat thing is is when somebody comments on the blog uh, and this is at the discretion of the uh, person who owns the site uh, they can have links back to your website so if I were to click on this person here you'll notice it's a hyperlink so it probably goes back to her site or this one here probably goes back to his site so that's the reason that's kind of ha that's like having a backlink right back to your website if you uh, post something intelligent or semi-intelligent and have it linked back so I am going to make a post here and how I get it to link back is I'm going to put my name and my email and then my website cloudbloomers.com and I'm going to make some sort of comment here I love this post it's perfect for the video to tutorial I'm doing regarding oops, posting comments on blogs. Thank you. All right, so now I'm going to post that and we'll see what happens. Sometimes it posts immediately, sometimes you have to wait for the uh, website owner to approve it. Okay, all right, right there. It's posted, but I don't think anybody else can see it yet because it's awaiting moderation. So if it gets approved, when they click on my name, hopefully that's going to go back to my site. Okay, so the reason you want to do that is because you want to build good quality backlinks to your website. So thank you very much.